bad day, many in a row. And I walked into each day with the perspective that I will just have peace with this and see where God takes me through this. But then there was a point where um, I was like, okay, God, like I am feeling sad like every day. Can we do something about this? And so I told him that God, you heal. He reminded me, I heal, you just have to ask me. Um, not like he wouldn't heal me if I didn't ask, he still would. But if it troubles you so much, Lara, just like bring it up. Just be honest about your feelings. Because oftentimes we forget that, oh, we actually have the option to like be honest with God and not just like keep things in ourselves. Because he knows that the fact that I say it out loud to him, is healing is like a good start um so that's what i did and i was like okay why don't you record it record your progress and then i was like well that's a genius idea very vulnerable and bold but genius of you so here we are yeah so enjoy and we'll see what conclusion i come to by the end of this video what is healing it's an up and down journey. We never know which way the waves will take us. Will it bring us to the shore or toward another tide to persevere? My mind finds it harder to rest than my heart. But my heart makes me feel so much that it makes me remember what I forget throughout the day. It reminds me that I'm a person. Walking, breathing, skin and bone, feeling human. I was reading my Bible and God literally spoke to me. Oh my goodness, he did. Read Isaiah 51 and he talks about strengthening his people, clothing ourselves in the arm of the Lord. And that was so encouraging because sometimes you, feel, you just feel so weak. And you know what? I already cried sad tears because <laughs> because after I read all of that, I read this message and there was an appointment which has been very important for my health and it's been taken off the private list and that obviously upset me because it means that it will have to be done way later. But then I went back after a long crying sesh, I went back into Isaiah. He finds compassion um, for us. And just, you have to remind yourself that God has your back. He's not against you. He's not out for you to make life harder for you. No, those things are not from him. And he is trying his best to do things for you the best he can. And he will do it above the best because this is Jesus we are talking about. So, okay, after all of that, let's run some errands because I'm late. I began to do prayer walks um, whenever I go to like university. I'm like taking the opportunity of spending time with God and just taking the walk and using it for that. The booking which was pushed back was surgery and that was on my mind. And the conclusion was that maybe someone is in a worse condition than I am and they need the surgery more than I do, which helped me so much in just accepting life the way it is, the way things come and go. Hi, Queenie! When the heart fails, it really turns into that wake-up call to reality. Reality is suddenly this out-of-body experience, and that's when the mind puts its own twist on it thinking. As if your heart bursting out of your chest wasn't enough, there is such thing as intrusive thoughts. We can often question ourselves due to this human condition, just to realize that the world around us is a big reason for our way of thinking. It shapes us so carefully that we don't notice. Healing mental health is to accept that your mind, soul, heart, and body is out of your own control and that your experiences will shape the way you look at tomorrow. I found myself healing my mental health when I accepted that I'm not okay and decided to give that to God. I told him that 
I have no idea what is happening. So I'll just give this to you, Jesus. It heals. When you accept that you don't know what God knows. It heals. When you accept that you can't always find the answer. It heals and makes you whole when you surrender your state into God's hands. Because he's the only one who knows how to mend you into that healthy mindset, right heart posture, good spirit, which your troubled soul is searching for. Healing is to stop the search and accept that you have been found. This is where the search stops. As you stand facing the open arms of Jesus Christ, with his eyes holding tears of joy when he looks at you, taking you in like you're the only one in this world. And you just encounter a love that overwhelms. It's just you and him. So why do the answers to your questions matter anymore? When you have the option to give it all up and trust him with the unknown. Bring the treasure hunt to an end. For you have been found by the most precious rock that exists on earth and beyond. The search stops now, and you heal.